everyone, and thank you for attending the opening of my painting series exhibit, Colors, Couleur, here at the St. John Art Center. I first conceived and created the series five years ago for a residency in the northern area of France named Sudden. When I returned to Canada, thanks to the help of my curator, Paula Dorberg, I was able to evolve the series into what you see today. The images portrayed in each painting, they're my own digitally altered photograph, printed on a transparent paper, which is then physically disassembled and reassembled in a collage fashion. I add texture created with gels, paste, acrylic paint, and pastels. The last stage of my process is to visually integrate writing. The words collaged in the piece oftentimes become its title. The theme of this series of paintings is as a visual analogy between the francophone language spoken around the world and the various species of trees that exist in nature. In its evolution over periods of time, as well as with the expansion of geography, the French language has grown and developed. Today, it has innumerable branches, new versions of the language, a vast variety of dialects much in the same way that we find organic varieties of thousands of species of trees around the planet. This life and its evolution are possible thanks to its roots. They exist underground. They're therefore invisible, but just as large and as important as the tree itself. Without roots, the evolution and the life of trees, just like those of the language, would not have been possible. When looking back for the roots of the French language, we find a Latin language. Each painting in this series has words integrated from one of the oldest known texts in the world, Andronicus's Latin translation of Homer's Odyssey. The story of Homer's Odyssey is that of a heroic and imaginary voyage. In this context, it is analogous to the expansion and evolution of our language, the magical journey of the French language for millennia. Thank you for your interest in my expression and my work. If you'd like to see more, I invite you to visit my website, www.rebeccabellavo.com. And I hope you enjoy the exhibit. I would like to thank sincerely, Andrew, Kelly, Emma, the rest of the staff at the St. John Arts Center for making this show possible. Arts NB for their generous support in helping to realize this project and of course my curator thank you so much Paula Dwarbork I appreciate you all